The dad of YouTube in the building. Skip it up and dad up. Okay, this isn't going to be a heavily edited video, and I almost debated on not making it, but I think that issues like this on YouTube need to come to light. But I want to call out a couple things first. I know in the comments section, people are going to going to say, well, then YouTube just, it should be a real job for you that just if you don't like it too bad. Just leave, which is fine. You know what? If I have to go, if something happens to my YouTube channel and I have to go get a real job, I'm okay with that. I, I, I think when people say that in the comment section, they think that content creators aren't okay with that. And no, that's fine. But what you don't realize is these terrible YouTube policies that hinder creators, you as the content consumer will also get affected because what you don't understand is if we can't, especially people who do the really high end, high production value stuff, some of those videos take an entire month to do literally like I'm not talking about mine. I'm not talking about my videos, but other content creators, if they can't sustain themselves and focus on working on the content, guess what you don't get anymore? You don't get their videos. And if YouTube just decides one day, yep, we're not going to share any of the revenue with any of the content creators, 95, and maybe that's a conservative estimate of the content you enjoy would be gone. And you would have a bunch of nine and 10 year olds making Fortnite and Minecraft videos. Doesn't that sound like fun? Don't you just want to come to YouTube every day and see it plagued with a bunch of Minecraft videos with a bunch of mouth breathing children like, hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make a star in Minecraft and how you know, make sure to comment, subscribe. That's what you would get. So I'll go off and get a real job. Enjoy your grade A content on YouTube. Have fun. So YouTuber Brett over at UFD Tech, um, I watch his channel. I enjoy it immensely. Um, he does computer builds, computer reviews, component reviews, very similar to Linus Tech Tips. Um, he had an issue on his UFD tech channel where YouTube took it down for something ridiculous. Now, the video he posted yesterday is YouTube took down UFD tech. I took some notes from it and it, it's pretty ridiculous. And I hope maybe me making this video and other people making this video will maybe make YouTube pay attention and fix the issue like permanently for the future. I don't know, though. But anyway, so he posted a video um, where it was four, why four gigabytes of RAM is horrible trash. And in that video, he had a link to a site that was meant you could, it was a raffle basically where you, he was doing a giveaway for a 2080 TI and as far as I know, that's legitimate. You could do that. He wasn't, he showed the guidelines there. He wasn't posting a link to a phishing site or an adult site or anything like that. He was just posting, Hey, here's my giveaway. We're celebrating 200,000 subscribers on the channel. Here's my thanks to you. I'm giving away a, a, an amazing graphics card, which until the 3000 series comes out, the highest end one you could get is the 2080 Ti. I know there's the Titan one, but the Titan the RTX Titan card is a waste of money. It actually un underperforms compared to the 2080 Ti unless you need the extra frame buffer for professional applications. Anyway, this isn't about the damn 2080 Ti moving on. Well, anyway, YouTube said the link for the 2080 Ti was against their rules. So due to that, for the next week, he's not allowed to post videos on his UFD tech channel. Now you may think, Roll Rich, he must have done something else bad because YouTube now gives a warning and you're right and this is where things get even more interesting because you yeah you get a, a slap on the wrist from youtube first now but you do something again then you actually it, it, it actually affects your channel well the reason why and this is where things get super interesting that he didn't just receive a warning and got a strike was because he received a warning for his hacking the nintendo switch video which initially youtube took down he appealed the warning on that and YouTube, this is where it gets even crazier, determined it didn't violate community guidelines, but they rescinded that decision after 
Brett appealed it and they allowed the video back up and said, yeah, we looked at it again. We actually watched the video and, and yeah, you, you, you violated community guidelines. But here is where it gets even more insane. Like six months later, Linus Tech Tips made a video doing a similar thing, installing Android. That's what happened. He installed Brett installed Android on the Nintendo Switch. He didn't show you how to like you know pirate games for the switch or anything like that linus tech tips did the same thing put android on the switch six months later the video is called android on the nintendo switch is amazing linus had no issues so even if there was some kind of issue with him having a, like a a raffle where you could give away the 2080 ti the initial slap on the wrist that he got, he should have never even gotten a slap on the wrist because Linus didn't get a slap on the wrist for installing Android on his Nintendo Switch. Why could Linus do it and Brett couldn't do it? And this isn't a shot at Linus. I'm just saying, like, he did the same video. Why? Because he had hack in the title of his video, but they said they manually watched the video and they said, yeah, you know, you actually went against community guidelines. But he did the same thing Linus did. He did the same thing Linus did. So... What's going on? I don't get it. Here is the bottom line, YouTube. And I know, again, I said it at the beginning of the video. I'm going to say it again. I don't care if I'm repeating myself. Look, if I need to, if something happens to my channel and I, my semi fat ass needs to walk off into the sunset and find a new line of work, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not I'm not pulling a DSP here and saying like this website owes me a living they don't they really don't but what you don't understand is is that if people can not sustain themselves in this website because I know a lot of you including me 98% of the content I consume is on YouTube even when I'm not making YouTube videos if I don't watch TV when I have downtime and I'm going to bed I'm watching YouTube videos if people don't have if they can't sustain themselves doing it, it you can't watch. There's going to be no content. There's going to be none except the, the kinds of the mouth breathing videos from young children making Minecraft and Fortnite videos. Maybe some Call of Duty videos being thrown in here and there. That's all you're going to get to get the content that you want. People need to be able to sustain themselves. Because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. Again, I'm not talking about my videos, even though like the Turbo Express video, that took me like three weeks to do. Those kind of videos do. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. And even doing the daily news stuff like I do, it's a seven or eight hour, like between getting the videos, editing them, making the thumbnails, uploading them, spreading them to social media. It's not backbreaking work. It's easy work, but it's time consuming. And if I had to work a nine to five every day, I wouldn't be putting up as much content as I do now. So what you need to understand is, and what YouTube needs to understand is maybe they do. And because they're the only show in town right now, they maybe just don't aren't that concerned until there's a viable competitor is that YouTube needs us as much as we need them financially on both ends. We need each other. I make content. YouTube makes money off of it. I make money off of YouTube, giving me a cut of the ad revenue and to for people to be able to continue doing this and flourish and sustain themselves, we need to be able to be comfortable on the platform and, and be able to know that, okay, even if there is an issue, there's someone we could talk to. There's someone we that that we can get issues resolved. Now, look, uh, like a normal job, too, if someone keeps making the same mistake over and over again, you get fired. <laughs> I get that, too. Okay, I understand that. But at least at a normal job, when I, if you walk into your cubicle or your boss's office, they could s communicate with you and tell you what you're doing wrong here. It's just like, maybe hopefully on Twitter, you could at team YouTube and eventually they'll respond to you if they even do respond to you. And that's not the way it should be. And that's why I stick with my network. I know a lot of people say, oh, Rich, you should leave a network. You shouldn't be on a network. No way. Because at least if I, ha if I communicate with my network, I'm like, Hey man, this is happening with my channel. This is happening with my channel. You know, when that whole thing with The Verge happened, my, my content manager over at my multi-channel network called me right away, messaged me right away, and we got that issue resolved real quick. If I was just directly affiliated with YouTube and I didn't have a middleman of a multi-channel network, Lord knows what, what would have happened when, that ver when I got a strike for that Verge video, even though it was without a doubt fair use calling out their terrible PC build. 
this stuff, look, I understand this is still uncharted territory and it's new still relatively like con like user generated content like this is a still a brand new thing. It really is compared to legacy media and other formats of entertainment. But YouTube, you got to be more transparent, man. You got to be more upfront with the content creators. I understand you like keeping the rules vague so people can't, you know, take advantage of the system because that happens quite a bit on YouTube. But it's not fair to us who follow the rules or try to follow the rules and understand them. And then we just get blindsided by getting punished and we don't even understand why we were punished. This is needs to change i love this platform i love what it's done for me but there are some really fundamental flaws that need to be fixed like yesterday this is rich review tech usa signing out have a good one hey if you enjoy my content consider becoming a review tech usa member i'll have a link below in the description i live stream now on this channel all the time and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while i live stream again link below in the description thank you for your continued support